ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Donnie Bowling and Bernie, the advisor. Oh, man, he's the advisor. He's so, here. What, okay, what, 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 what does advisor uh, exactly mean? I'm, I'm still confused it about changes. this. It changes. It changes because he does everything. Uh, what do you do, Bernie? Merch. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly the merch, yeah. And um, when I'm not selling T-shirts, I might be uh, like selling tickets or uh, managing the OnlyFans page. <laughs> no, the one that I don't know about, that's the one he's managing. Uh, no, Listen, you can make some money nowadays, man. It's 2020. you got to jump on these opportunities. Yeah, he doesn't charge me anything. Uh, no, the, uh, uh, he's, he's here today, specifically today, to uh, keep me up to date with buzzwords. Buzzwords. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing the buzzwords. Well, we, we, for, the, for the people that don't know out there, what are buzzwords? Oh, buzzwords are how you relate to... Uh, people so people know what you're saying like you might say uh it's really important to connect to uh the millennial generation yeah this is for the millennials uh no so cap. It's like, yeah no cap no cap yeah example. what does that mean we I, I googled it right before we hopped on air for anybody out there that don't know the expression no cap is slang meaning no lie or for real often used to emphasize someone who is not exaggerating about something hard to believe it was first uh, came up with by Young Thug, why which makes sense. Why don't, you just say, why, don't, why don't you just say, for real? Yeah. That's, that was a cool thing when I was growing up. Well, because we're for millennials. Real. We're millennials now. Yeah. Yeah, or yeet. Yeet. You got to yeet something. What does yeet mean? It means is that, so is that cast, Kanye West? Cast out. No, yeah, it's like yeah, an old cast word. away, yeah. yeah. So you, you know what yeet is and I didn't? Yeah, I know what yeet is. See, I'm I'm up to I feel, date. I feel I'm yeeted. Cool. I feel yeeted. Was I cast no, it out no, just now? You weren't yeeted. No. All right, I'm not yeeted no, anyway. Never yeeted. But yeah, he's yeet is like if I threw this phone across the room. You yeet the phone. I, yeah, I yeeted the and phone. Maybe out the window because yeet is like. Anyway, anyway, yeah, that's why he's here today. He's here for the <laughs> connection. He's like, he's gonna be over here going like, say yeet now. I'm gonna say yeet. Well, apparently thick. The, the, the thick. I was about to say. Well, yeah. What is thick? I, I, think, I think thick means that's that's awesome, or something. Like, that's killer. With like, two C's, like, I think like, it is. Like man. Oh, I know what you're talking that's about, thick, dude. I thought that was. I see. Okay, thick is a slang term for a full-figured body, specifically a big butt. <laughs> <laughs> so he's trying to tell me to say that. Man, all right, you, you got one more time to mess up on the buzzwords and make me look stupid. I'm going to yeet you. No, no, you're using it right. You're getting it, my, man. Hey, my next three songs are going to have the word yeet in it. Needs to be thick, yeah. yeet, and no cap. No, no EP kidding. by Donnie Bowling. Yeah, no kidding. So anyway, what's up, dude? What are you in town for, man? Man, so we came in. He came down yesterday from uh, Cincinnati, well, Erlanger. You know, Northern Kentucky people claim Cincinnati, but uh, I think it's because of that ark up there. The, Is it the Noah's Ark that they have up there? They're, they're trying to get away from the Noah's Ark thing they made. Um, but yeah, he came down yesterday. We were he was advising me on some words, you know, for the most of the night. Ate some pizza, but we're here today to talk to you. And tomorrow we are doing a video over at the Mac Art Center. It's Ooh. like a that's like a single mic uh, acoustic session uh, songwriter. I know a few other people had done it. Uh, I think Nick Jamerson and uh, Katie did it. She's out of Louisville. She plays mm -hmm. in a band called Mama Said String Band. Oh yeah, that, I I haven't got a chance to see them live, but I've heard great their music. Band. Oh, and great. such a great band name too, yeah. Mama Said String Band. Oh, I dig it, man. What a great name. They have a really cool shirt design out right now too. I, I saw it uh, yesterday. I really enjoy it. It's cool. I like, like your shirt. And, which one? Donnie Bowling and, and the, the balls. balls. <laughs> Man, listen, dude, I, I wasn't even going to make that T-shirt a thing. Uh, I'm the, so glad you did, man. man. It's such, did, did you come with that since your merch? No, guy? he didn't, but he would have. That's totally his thing. What? The Donnie Bowling and the Balls T-shirt. He's got one coming. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he didn't create it. Oh, no. um, so the the session drummer on my on my last record, uh, Robbie Casenza, him and uh, my producer uh, Tom Nato, they were, I guess they were on tour. They played a band called Horse Feathers on. Uh, uh, I think Kill Rockstar is their label. But they were on tour uh, in Seattle. And they were talking just, I guess they were just BS. And, you know, they're like, man, Donnie should call him his band The Balls. And then they messaged me. And then I was like, no. And I told a friend, they're like, hey, if you don't get that made, I'm going to make one myself. And uh, I know about eight other people. I'm like, okay, well, I'll make one. I've got like 60 of them sold. 
Dude, so. it's it's great. I mean, it really it's was silly, a good idea. It, I think I think comedy I think comedy and music is a great thing. I think it uh, I think it goes hand in hand with you know people. It does. But don't be so serious all the time. You know, make a few videos with your pants off. You know, yeah. Your shorts pulled up. Well, just like uh, Blink One Eighty Two when yeah. they done that video. Yeah. Uh, Rockstar. Yeah. Whenever they they had the ten thousand dollars and they ended up like throwing it off the building and like getting the the homeless guy's haircut. Remember that video? And they have Wee Man in there. They had Wee Man in that video yes. too. I think. Those good, those are the good old days right there. Man, yeah. Wee Man used to be in music videos. Dude, Wee Man rocks. The, the whole, the, the whole, I don't know if we can say that word, but that show. Those dudes, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was such a great show. Did you see the thing that Steve-O done? Uh, the gnarly, his new comedy special? I saw Steve-O uh, two years ago at Comedy on Broadway. I didn't get a chance he to He just talked to about show. doing drugs with like Paris Hilton and stuff. <laughs> he was like... Yeah, man, like, I was, like, doing drugs with Paris Hilton, and then she kicked me out of her house and took all my drugs. I'm like, <laughs> so this isn't really a stand-up. This is just Steve-O's stories. But they were funny. Like, yeah. You connect, because you've seen those guys, you know, growing up on TV, and, and they, you know, Steve was a clown, like, before yeah. uh, the filming. He was, I think he was a professional clown. That's why yeah. he did all that crazy stuff. He went to He's clown like, college and everything, man. Clown College. I wish I went there, but their tuition is lower than mine was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard like it's actually like hard to pass. Like you gotta, it's hard work to graduate from Clown College. It's serious stuff. <laughs> if anyone out there has been to Clown College, leave a comment and let us know. <laughs> yes, we are. I'd like to know. Yeah, we, we are opening up interactivity on this video. Yeah. So uh, fact check us, please. Yeah, and tell us how many mistakes that we're making, because and trust me, we're going to make quite a few. Leave your favorite buzzword. <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah, see, I never heard the term buzzword. Oh, bet. Oh. That, <laughs> one of my friends bet. said bet to me one time. Like I said, I forget what I said to him. He's like, bet. And I'm like, what are we betting on? Like, does, I, that mean I, like, does that mean like bet me? Like, no, like, like, like bet me it ain't. It means like, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah it just oh, means yeah. yes, uh -huh. basically. <laughs> Sometimes. Bet is a three-letter word. Yes is a three-letter word. Just use yes, please. People, you have to be cool, yeah, man. You gotta man. be, cool. gotta, be <laughs> gotta be hip with the times. I just, yeah, I just don't get it, man. We're we're getting older, dude. That's man, what it my birthday's down to. coming up too. It's Halloween on October thirty-first. My, my birthday's two days for Halloween, but I still will, will claim, uh, you know, I'm a Halloween child. How old are you going to be? Uh, I don't want to tell you. I'll be thirty-three. I'm I'm getting old, dude. Shh, man. People don't understand that uh, I'm old. <laughs> I, I had, some dudes were playing the other day. Uh, uh, I was at a gig, and they were uh, talking about something. I would mentioned a band, and uh, they were like, man, that sounds like something like Nickelback or like Incubus or something. I was like, you just put Incubus in the same sentence with Nickelback. Are you one of those like, Nickelback haters? I hate Nickelback. But, you know, listen, well, listen, I love Kiss. Many people hate Kiss. Kiss could be compared to Nickelback. It's just cheesy music of the time, but I like Kiss because they like they they merchandised. Like they they made rock and roll with flames, the paint, the, the fire. The you can buy your own Kiss casket. Like they sold the move. That, like that was, was smart. Gene rock Simmons. and roll. Yeah, I mean that, Paul too. You know. Oh yeah. But I mean Nickelback. It all the songs sound the same. They all start the same too. Janet, 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 Janet. Janet. Jiggity, jiggity. I'm you like, oh, can't deny okay. the fact, though, that rock star, photograph, how you remind me, what those about are that song animals. Yeah, that's even song. animals. That's yeah. a, that. Hey, that was even a well, good listen, one. Uh, that, what was that one album? That Dark Horse. This will this will tell you how old I am, because and you might remember this. How old are you? Twenty five. Twenty five. You're young, so you won't know this. So back in the day when we had satellite, we used to have like black boxes, and we would steal. You know, we'd have the card that would steal free HBO or something. Yeah. There used to be this channel called Much Music. Before that, it was called something else. I'll think of it here in a bit. But on Much Music, they used to do these, they'd show live performances. And this was when Nickelback first came out, probably 2002 or one, before they really had their identity. Like, so that, you know, the corporate world wasn't saying, hey, you must look this way, Chad. Or, hey, the mm -hmm. band must look this way. Or, these are the ways you need to perform and sound. I remember a live performance of them. And I was just kind of passing by, I think, and I was probably like 17, 18. But I remember their kick drum had a big pot leaf on it back in 2001 or two. Hey, that's, yeah, that's... and I was like, Nickelback's cool, and I bought that first record. And I remember sitting down and reading every lyric in that book. And then, you know, here I am, 33, 32, and I'm like, man, this band sucks. 
Hey, I think Can I say it, that? Yeah. Okay, I'll say sucks it. That band's probably fine. <laughs> I, I just I think that like the internet caused oh, everybody yeah, it's mob, to hate mob mentality, bro. Nickelback. Yeah, that that's that's it, it was But I do think that they hated it before. I don't know, man. Everybody liked Rockstar If you hated Nickelback before everyone else hated them and you were the original Nickelback hater, please comment below. People are going <laughs> to say that and they're not telling the truth. I don't trust that. I, those I hated them before you everybody else hated them. You know, you I've always hated the first nickel. No, you bought like, the first I was seventeen or eighteen. I bought. I also had every Backstreet Boy record, man, and I used to know all the words. I still do, probably. That's how I learned to sing. You like Backstreet Boys? More I used than to Nickelback? love Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, and I had the Spice Girls' first record, and I know all the words to that stuff. Well, when two becomes one. That's a great song. That is a good song. And one wannabe. I mean, that's. Yeah. That was, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was pitch perfect. That was actually pretty good. I got to give it to you. Oh, the Spice Girls that's in the movie. Do y'all remember the Spice yeah, that, Girls? There was movie? an alien in it. Yeah. This is how we segue into talking about aliens, man. <laughs> yes, that was it. We've been waiting this whole time to talk about aliens. I got to talk. Do you know who Steve uh, Steve Russo is? No, but I've seen the name. Okay, he's with the East Kentucky Science Center and Planetarium. A big shot, to Steve Russo. He is so fascinating to talk to about aliens because he like he's worked with NASA yeah. engineers. Like he's spent. 60 years of his life devoted to nothing but space. And I got to ask him about aliens last week. Right. And, and if you want to talk to somebody that actually is smart on subjects about aliens, Steve Russo is your guy. But uh, what did you think about the uh, videos that they released? Okay, so those videos came out years ago, like two or three yep. years ago. The uh, Academy of the Stars, Tom DeLonge, mm -hmm. uh, he had a few people that were high level. Look how I got really serious about aliens. A few people that were high level were talking. They were like, hey, you know, I was part of that. And I'm going to tell you the information because I'm no longer affiliated. So I'm going to help you. Well, the cool thing is, is that they came out and said it was real about two months ago. And no one paid attention to it because no. of all this other conspiracy stuff, which makes me think the reason that we're like this QAnon and all this stuff is like dropping all these conspiracies and Reddit is really hitting it right now on 4chan. I think that they're trying to bury it. I think that we have undisputable evidence right now and... People are coming out with it. That's why I like talking to like uh, scientists are cool because they're like, there's no way that we could have created that. Mm -hmm. So now we're like, okay, well, let's just drop all this other crazy stuff out and hopefully it gets buried somewhere. It's like the, the episode of The Office where Michael talks about uh, Stanley. He says Stanley's cheating on his wife and everybody's like <laughs> freaking out. So now Michael has to tell all these other lies to yeah. make that one hide. I, get I what think you're that's saying. what's happening right now. I think we're getting dropped with conspiracies I, to hide the aliens are real. I think that because of the Freedom of Information Act, that they had to release information. Yeah. Like they are by law, we're, they have we're one to of the only release countries left that hasn't agreed to it yet. But the thing is, though, they released it at the perfect time because oh, yeah. everything else is going on. So yeah, they can release it. That was like one and, week of news. Yeah, and and they don't even have to like really like purposely bury it. It can it's all going to be buried because of everything else going on. They released it at the perfect time, yeah. and that's the thing. Nobody cared. They the Pentagon literally said we have vehicles that are not made of this earth. Otherworldly vehicles is what yes. they said. And me and you were here like wait 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 wait. Quotes. Can you go back to the go back to the alien thing again? And people are like coronavirus. Yeah, no election mail in yeah. voting. Yeah, uh, man, they're talking about like. You know, the whole uh, pedophile rings, which we know. Yeah. We know that's real. That used to be a conspiracy a theory thing. five years ago, and now yeah. it's common knowledge. Well, I think, again, people are just are pulling at emotions and trying to hide this other information. I swear, I, I think it's all because of the aliens. I really do. I think, I think that it's, um, if you followed any ancient alien information, which a lot of that stuff is debunked, a lot of that stuff is kind of interesting, though. Like some yeah. of the artwork, nah, that's undisputable. That's, that's, a, that's an astronaut. Yeah, like that guy has a suit on. That's not just a head, um, but it's like I think that I think that again I think something is coming to a point. Either you know the whole undisclosure event. I think that I think it's coming. I think that mm -hmm. we're trying to throw everything at people all at once to kind of get their anxiety up to a certain point where they're like, uh, oh, the real. That's not the biggest point problem right now. They're okay with it. I'm like, yeah. Hmm. Or maybe yeah. they're see. I, I'm there's three theories that I think of those videos they released it just because they had to and they know that it would be buried because of all the information yeah. that's coming out another theory is that maybe it's you know china or russia those are still two very economically developed countries with great military and 
you know, that they maybe they made it. You know, who just because it isn't our technology doesn't mean that it's not another country's technology well, that we just don't know about. Or maybe they are they release these videos and it's going to do a little bit at a time because if they were if Trump was to come out and say aliens are real. They're called this, and this is one of them, and brings them out on stage. Everyone's going to lose their minds. Yeah. Every person that's ever been, like, Maybe devoted to religion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Everyone but, who's devoted to religion is going to riot and lose their mind because they've just wasted all this time. Yeah. But they're but but if they do Mass it, chaos. But if they do it little by little, yeah. it'll well, I, I, it I agree. ease people into it. I agree. And you know what you were saying to keep another country? I agree to an extent because if you look at World War II... Uh, and the fact, paperclip, uh, Operation Paperclip, where we took a lot of Nazi scientists and we developed the Mercury rocket right mm-hmm. after that. That's NASA. Because they had information, you know. You know, NASA's full of, you know, uh, ex, ex bad scientists. Yeah, you know and that's just saying? a fact. And it's like other countries do have better technology at points in life, but we're in 2020, man. Like, I don't think that our, I think a lot of our, you know, technological people and scientists are very smart. Mm-hmm. And they are coming out saying that's not possible. So I don't, I don't I don't think that a communist country is going to have better quality uh, technology than than a free country like ours does. That is, we are con- we're constantly competing and trying yeah. to make the most of the next best thing. I think we're a little bit further than they are. They're still wearing crazy looking uniforms over there. What do you think, Bernie? The communist. Um, advise me, Bernie. This way, he advises us. Yeah, you're the advisor. Well, uh, I guess my main thought is, you know, if if there were aliens in the uh, he talks like they're not. You see that? <laughs> he, you kind of talk like an alien. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I don't think that the religious institutions would just give up on their money. I think they would figure out a way to incorporate it. Yeah, well, I mean, the the, the Catholics came out a few years ago and were saying, like, didn't they, get, didn't they buy, like, a big telescope? I think, I think they'd Maybe. Look, look into this, listeners. I think that the Catholics invested into a big telescope, and I think that they were talking more so about... Um, being open to other things. I think that they've been losing membership over the years anyway as, you know, as people have diverted over to, I guess, you know, our our version of it. I, yeah, but, they but I, do have a see, uh, telescope, So why are they looking at the stars for? I've never heard of that. Isn't it scary? That's weird. Freaking you out? Yeah. Well, who knows what they have? They have tons of... They got money. Them the Scientologists... Tons of money. I was about to say, like, are, are they on anything with these alien spirits coming out of volcanoes and whatnot? Is that a, is that a thing, or are they just drones? Yeah. Well, th- see, that's one of the new conspiracy theories, is that the uh, aliens are coming out of the water. Yeah, that, underwater. But, 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 it's, it's inner Earth theory, bro. But the Flat thing, Earth ain't real. Inner but, Earth. but the thing is, though, like, it kind of makes sense. We know more about the moon than we do our own ocean. We've only explored. You like, think we went to the moon? We'll get to that. <laughs> do you think so? Just yes or no? Ah, uh, maybe afterwards. I agree, hundred percent. That's the answer. It was a race. Yeah, yeah, we beat them. No, nah, probably didn't, but yeah. we did go eventually. Exactly, yeah. eventually. That's what I think. Yeah. But uh, where was that? Oh yeah. Okay. So we've we've only explored about five percent of the entire ocean. Because we the can't. Enti- man. Yeah, because it's almost impossible. It's, so it's, if you were wanting to hide, the bottom. but if you were wanting to hide on a planet, hide where they can't go. Yeah, if your technology is greater. Well, I mean, look up that old information about Admiral Byrd in like uh, Antarctica. Like, look that oh, up yeah, later. The, after this. Oh yeah, the uh, about how he said he saw UFOs flying out of like the center. Well, like, and that's where people have migrated to. Yeah, Hit, well, Hitler and they all claim, the Nazis. Yeah, yeah they uh, went uh, went to Antarctica to visit and build bases. Why well, Hitler was crazy into supernatural powers and stuff. You know, yep. he reminds me of the Phantom. Whenever like the Phantom's trying to find the skulls. Yeah, that was Hitler. Yeah. Hitler was taking a lot of drugs. Too. He was. <laughs> He's all on a lot of meth. <laughs> was, he, was he on methamphetamine? Yeah, that, well, that was I one of that was, them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was like, yeah, he was. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, no kidding. Man. He would have like Hitler. <laughs> if people would just bought his paintings, it would have been fine. That's why people need to support local art. Yeah, have you? Uh, you do you watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? <laughs> yeah. So the the episode where where they get that that uh, Charlie's not Charlie, uh, maybe Dennis's. Uh, Grandfather was a was a Nazi, yeah. and he left him that that picture, that dog, that painting. Turns out it was a Hitler painting. He's <laughs> yeah. just hanging out in their house. Charlie ends up with that hat. Yeah, he loves the hat at the end. He's like eating we, they burn it off, but Charlie's sitting there eating cereal with the Nazi hat on. <laughs> but hey, listen, I mean, they they were on to some serious stuff, you know. I mean, they were yeah. bad people, of course. They'd done terrible things, but 
they have some stuff that makes you raise your eyebrows. Like they invented like flying saucers flying saucers and everything the acorn yeah it yeah. didn't work very good i think it worked because remember like 40 years later there was a sighting of something that looked very much like it and had writing on it and symbols yeah the one that had that crash in those woods they spun i can't up think of the name of it around. yeah i seen yeah. that on the ancient aliens yeah. episode yeah but I've, I've saw it off of that different uh, websites yeah it's but the acorn yeah i mean so and, you know, like all those scientists that were working on that all of a sudden are working for, for NASA. NASA. Yeah. So it's just there's weird, weird links. Did there. you, did that you make... watch the Challenger thing on Netflix? It's Mm-mm. really sad, man. Oh, is that where the one that blew the up? The one that blew up with the T-shirt on it? Yeah. yeah. I remember reading about it when I was a kid. And like, uh, But there's a – it's really cool to watch because it talks about everything. It talks about the, um, the backstory where they're like the people who engineered the casing – was like the O-rings are going to wear out and it's going something's going to happen, and they mm-hmm. launched on a day where it was too cold, yeah. so the O-rings had shrunk, and that's what caused the fuel leak. But wasn't like, it because of a uh, uh, what's his name wanted it to thing. launch? Well, yeah. no, they had like two or three days. They had kept calling it off, calling it off, calling it because of weather. But yeah, they definitely wanted to launch it to get NASA big in the news and like, look, it's every day, let's fund it. You know, like they wanted a, yeah. a big PR campaign. Yeah, I thought it was like some like type of president or somebody wanted to hurry oh, up yeah. and launch. Yeah, it. but it, but the O rings is what the the documentary talks about, and like the engineers were talking about a moment where they were in a meeting. They're like, NASA's on here now. You know, we're talking kind of like we're talking now. They're like, does anybody object to this? Talking to the engineers, they're like, do not launch. And there's like proof that they said mm-hmm. no. What do like, you th- they who- fought it afterwards whenever the disclosure came out. Like, yeah. it was crazy. What do y'all think of, uh, you ever heard of Bob Lazar? Yeah, Bob Lazar is true. What is that? After yeah. many years, the guy who used to work at Area 51 that talked about uh, talked about his uh, engineering and jet propulsion. and uh, um, Dude was smart. That element that he talked about. Uh, that element, was uh, part of the... 115? Yeah, part, like that? one of those numbers. Talks about, like, the element that makes, you know, their technology better, you know. Yeah, it's, sp- it's supposed to... Uh, you can defy gravity yeah. with it. And, and the th- okay, here's the thing about Bob Lazar for anybody that, out there that don't know. He worked at he didn't exactly work at Area 51. It was it was a it was a base off of Area 51 called S4. Yeah, but it's out there. Yeah, and, and if you just like look into this dude's like the theories and everything, he was talking about stuff that he couldn't no, have known in any right? other way. It was 80s. Yeah, he talking was talking stuff that no one knew about, and now it's coming out yeah. little by little that that technology does exist and did exist, mm-hmm. and they just smear can. Him. Yeah. What kind of technology? Like he had cell phones in the eighties. Like just, yeah. just, just crazy. Like I think what was that one device he was talking about? Like he talked about like their retina scanning of his hand to get into the base. Yeah. He was talking about that in the eighties and like that doesn't exist. And now we do that. Yeah. It's like. But see, and he was also the thing that got him busted. Well, he's talking about Area Fifty One first before anybody else yeah. was talking about Area Fifty One. News reporter, too. yeah. <laughs> and uh, the way he got busted was he knew on a certain day at a certain time that they were going to be flying these aircraft over this desert in Las Vegas, and he brought all of his friends. And nobody else knew that this base was out there. Nobody knew the times and when things were going to be flying and yada, yeah. yada, yada. But he brought his buddies, and, of course, military came up on him and busted him and Isn't arrested Patterson him. Air Force or something, probably? Something like yeah. that. But, yeah, how, how did he know when they were going to be flying, all that? And another thing, how you said they were trying to smear him? If he They said, erased his information. Yeah. Like, it didn't but, exist. But the thing is, he says that he went to this school, and the school said, oh, no, he didn't. Well, he found he had newspaper articles of him it. as a student yeah. working on this project for that school. And, yeah, his name is right there in the paper. He kept those papers. Yep. So everything that they try to disprove, he eventually proves right. And it's just getting to a point where... You can't disprove them anymore. And there's stu- some stuff that still makes you question, but whenever it comes to people talking about aliens or people that say that they've been with secret government organizations, yeah. all that, Bob Lazar is the dude. Like, he, I believe him 100%. Man, let me give you like a two minute story. Check this out. So, I met a guy when I went to school. Me and Bernie went to Moorhead State University together. Uh, there's this local bar we used to go to. And I was there one night. Um, and there was a, an older man, and him and his wife were at the corner of the bar, and they weren't drinking. I was, like, drunk. I went and talked to him. He was, like, recovering alcoholic. He just wanted to come to the social spot and have a Coke and, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, years later, 
I was working at UK, and I'm in Lexington now. He messaged me on Facebook. He's like, hey, man, my grand, my, my dad and my mom are aging. My dad doesn't like me around, you know, because he's the father figure, and he's ex-military, and, you know, would you care if I introduced you to him? You become their friend. I'm like secret agent, man. Become their friend, and then, like, check up on them every now and then because you live in town, and, you know, help them if they need help or let me know if they need something because they're not communicating with me much. Sure. So I get in, infiltrate. We're friends. I'm like mowing the grass. We're talking, all this stuff. Well, one day, I just had the, the nerve to just be like, what do you think about aliens? And this guy's in his 80s. I mean, this guy is like clean cut, didn't have much education. You know, this was like back whenever he was like probably 16. He went to the military or tried to, you know. Mm -hmm. like didn't care about school back then. And I was like, what do you think about aliens? And he sat there, and it surprised me. Boom. He's like, well, I think there's something real that's out there. He's told me this crazy story about how in the Air Force, what he did was, I guess he was like in the um, recovery. So these uh, fly, these people would fly jets. They'd do their mission, whatever it was. I don't know what it is. And then they'd him and the other guys would drive out of the desert and pick them up, pick up the pilots and then drive mm -hmm. back to the base because it was further away from the base, I guess, you know, like like you'd see people drive out to a plane and pick them up or taxi or whatever you want to call it. So he said one night we were waiting for him, and this is like, you know, probably like back in the 40s or 50s or something, dude, like not, not a lot of technology, you can't trace them. He said we waited, they never came. He said we waited a few more hours, never, never came. His next morning, we're still out there. He's like, we slept in the car, me, and now the general drove out there because there's a problem, you know. He said, then they pull in, like they land. And they said, what happened? And they're like, well, we got something on our radar, and we went after it. And it's, they said it took them, like, you know, I don't know how far away from their, their destination, but hours, apparently, because they were late by hours. Mm -hmm. And he said, when they landed, that the general went and talked to him, and he said, I'm, I'm low-ranking. He's, I'm just sitting here beside the car, you know, just out in the desert, you know, kicking dust. He said... I overheard them talking, and they, and they were like five feet from me, and they are talking about this this issue with something. They had no idea what it was. He's like, the next day, he goes, I never saw those pilots again. He said, never saw them. I worked there for another four years. Never saw them ever again. And he said, and it was the crazy thing was, uh, like, they used to keep us awake all the time mm -hmm. by giving us these little pills. I was like, did it make you not want to eat any food after you took that little pill? He's like, well, yeah, we didn't have much of an appetite. I was like, amphetamines. Yeah. Poking those guys up. So those those pilots were jacked, like flying wow. after some like UFO back in like the 50s. And this guy would never lie. He wouldn't make this thing up. I'm yeah. like, what a crazy story. Whether it be alien or not, this is like the information we need to be getting from people mm -hmm. before they pass away is like the real stuff. Like no secondhand knowledge, like firsthand accounts. Well, that's why I think that it's so important that the Air Force and the Navy came out with these videos this year. Yeah. Because, I mean, ever since this year, we just had crazy people on the History Channel or YouTube that said that they were so-and-so. Do we believe them or not? Yeah, and we didn't exactly know. And now you have actual official people saying, hey, here's a video. This thing is rotating. We don't have anything that does this. This thing went from 15,000 feet to a foot off of the ground in that and it was like it saw me that's the crazy uh comment yeah. he made it's yeah. like it saw me and i mean like the, and these are generals and actual navy air force pilots a lot of ufo sightings are cops if you yeah. ever if you look into it, a lot of them are cops yeah. because they're the ones that are out all night and they see this stuff so why are we not believing somebody who has a professional title or training to uh assess you know yeah. i'm a nurse my big thing is i assess things i see things that you normally don't see or I would look for something like, did you see where you messed the paint up on your wall? I notice those things. Cops and, and people like that and, like, generals and military, they notice small small inconsistencies. So, like, yeah. why would we not mainly believe people who are known to see those things yeah. versus and, me driving the road? What was that? Could have been a plane. I don't know. Yeah. The Pentagon came out. We have discovered otherworldly vehicles, and nobody cared. That's, tell, me, tell me more about them people in the cabinets, and they're selling them on Wayfair.com. That's what I want to know about. Dude, I don't... I'm joking. I don't want to know about that. I would rather know about aliens. Yeah, well, you know, well, when it, when it comes to that, you know, what a... That was a genius way to go about it. Yeah. A genius if way to go real, about it. it was real, I don't think that's real. Who knows? That's the thing, and that's, that's another thing about this day and age. We have so much information coming at us at 
from all corners. We have no idea what to believe, what's real and what's not real. I Tell mean, us about stimulation. Stimulation. Bree's a psychologist. Oh, that's that. fascinating. No, like no, he, he yeah, he's got a, you got a master's doctorate in master's psychology. Degree. Yeah. So tell us about overstimulation and what is that? What can I do to the brain? You can, you know, overstimulation. What, yeah. I mean, what like do you want to know? All about this over- stimuli coming at us with all this information, all these, all these stories, all these things that are hitting us. Why, why, what's happening to people? Um, well, as you mentioned actually last night, I think the availab- availability heuristics a, a thing where. Everybody is all this information that frightens people is always available, and uh, I think the more Bernie, move your mic just a little bit closer there, buddy. I think the more relevant uh, problem today has to do with uh, media literacy. Yeah, um, what is media literacy? Being able to kind of identify a bias in a uh, in a in a source, and also weigh kind of the bias versus the uh, kind of the their tendency to report factual information. Mm. So there may be there may be a story based on fact, and there may be a story based on not so much a fact. And you can find fact checker organizations online. Um, I tend to trust the ones with a .org. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I definitely think that you should you, you should acknowledge people should acknowledge that there's always a a bias in uh, information sources like sources of information but also you got to check kind of like is there any truth to the uh any factual basis to the information at all like the source yeah i get you that's not that's another thing the bias of especially big media Mm -hmm. now fox and cnn will have the same story but tell it two totally they always have though yeah they always have this ain't new I, i just wish that there was one media organization, a big global one, that would just tell you the hard-hitting facts, what didn't argue about certain beliefs or subjects, and just brought you real information. But I don't think something like that is ever going to exist because they need BBC? the money. Yeah. Well, I enjoy the BBC personally. I, I, I do, too. Yeah, it's like they do have a bias. They're, a little, they're slightly, like, centrist left. But they also like have kind of have like this like condescending tone towards Americans, like oh look at them, like they, yeah. they're so rough around the edges. <laughs> it, it's it's got to be an outside view if it's ever going to be more true, right? Yeah, I, I I believe in that. That's why I try. It's to... like it's like when your best friend tells you that your girlfriend is manipulating you, but you never see it. But mm-hmm. then whenever it's over, you're like, oh, yeah. why didn't you tell me, man? It's like I did. Yeah, you thought out. You were biased. You were seeing what you, you were confirmational bias. You were seeing the things that confirmed the way you wanted to feel about her. Exactly. And, and I learned that, that from him too. Psychology. How long did it get you take you to get a psychology master's? Well, two and a half years to get a master's. That's not too long. That's not too bad. You can I can tell. Like just the way you talk, <laughs> it's it's perfect. Like you're you're uh, calming me down. I like it. Man, we used to live in Denver together, uh, when I was traveling out there working for a while, right before I started playing music again. So we uh, we had a lot of time to sit around and talk and kind of go through things in life. You got a perfect a lot, person to talk to. A man. lot of chess. We played a lot of chess. I enjoy some chess. You play I don't chess? Like chess. That's so man, stupid. I, if, listen, it's cool if you look at if you look at the rules and what you can do. Kind of cheat a little bit. You're pretty good. Pretty good. I knew check. I almost beat him once. We got into a stalemate. I think that means I almost won. It means no one won. So st- stalemate is just tie. Basically. I can't make any moves. Uh, either somebody can't make a move, or uh, I think he beat me. He's lied to me, or he let you get uh, to that he point. He never let me win. I don't think that's good. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's the guy's like, I'm not gonna let my kid win because that's just not good. Okay, so another conspiracy theory, simulation theory. What do uh, y'all think? Man, about? I, I just watched the Matrix the other day, dude. So I watched all three of them again, and dude, trip me out because honestly. This has happened about 20 minutes ago, or 30 minutes ago. If you've ever followed me on social media, you know the last couple years I've been posting this random thing where I've been seeing the number 666. Mm-hmm. I posted it. I, I, I was, he, he laughed at me earlier. I said, I posted 40 pictures in the last two years, probably on my Instagram, of that number, on receipts, on the back of car cops, uh, cop cars, uh, their little numbers, on that. license plates. I, I saw it when I got out of my car at work two days ago. And just now we bought a we bought two drinks and it was six 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 and I was like no that's weird but see like well, well there ain't, all that, those, ain't that something was that one uh, Jim uh, Carrey movie twenty three yeah. yeah that's a good movie this is yeah. like uh, 
Synchronicities. Synchronicities. Yeah. yeah. But see, some I read into it, and like, it doesn't matter what number it is. If you see the same thing over and over, it it may believe and may seem that you're on the right path and you're in the correct direction your life should be in. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm here. It's like a checkpoint. Yeah. I've made it here today. This is where I'm supposed to be at. You know, that number appeared. Yeah. It's like it's confirming that I'm moving in the right place. But it has nothing to do with uh, simulation theory. But I think that it does because like it shows you that maybe this stuff is. Well, you have numbers. no control. Like, this is just, we're moving through it. Like, they've controlled it already. See, this is, I never believed in that, but then somebody was t- talking to me about it, and he raised a very good point. Okay, so if you look at everything that's made in the universe, it has some type of mathematical formula. Well, numbers it. is everything. Yeah, no, ma- math yeah. Maths is the, the, only, is the, the only true language. thing. Yeah. You cannot, they are not fake. But it, but but the language but, of the gods. The language of the yeah. gods. But but there's like you know everything down to the molecules and the electrons that make up us. Chromosomes, the thing man. that yeah chromosomes, yeah. the thing that make this cell phone. Everything has some type of mathematical formula to how it's built yeah. or made or just exist in general. And it's almost like we're encoded. We're definitely encoded. See what I'm well, saying? Well, I mean our DNA is like encoded. Computer. Look at that. It's that's what I'm we saying. We can break it down. So I mean, who's to say? But I what? think it's just patterns. I don't. I don't think the numbers is what is the. I don't think it's. I don't. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with it. Like there is perfect numbers, like the Fibonacci sequence. Um, you look at like the four thirty two, four forty thing with the perfect A. If you look, Google that later. It's about. It's about Nazis too, man. Okay. It's like <laughs> whenever they uh they they made the sound frequency of A, they moved it to uh, make it. Uh, I guess. Worldly, everyone uses the same sound of A. The Beatles tracked it in 432, I think. It's like the, it's the number that is harmonious with the Earth's rotation and like the vibe of the Earth. They changed it to, they think it creates people to be more anxious and uh, on their on their toes. They think wow. it's a, they think, they think it's controlling. They intentionally did it for that reason. They believe. Compared to that one note, they look played. that up, dude. No, brown note. What's no, the what's no. the brown note? A South Park. Oh man, it makes you uncontrollably. Evacuate. Uh, well, I, I was gonna say, <laughs> that B note that they play in casinos. Oh, the one in casinos, that noise? Yeah. It's supposed to make you feel good and like keep you there or something like that? Yeah. That's why they don't have uh, windows in there, so you lose track of time. Man. They know what they're Listen, doing. Listen, bro, I'll sit at, I was, he knows, I'll sit at a slot machine beside your granny for 24 hours, and we'd be having a great time. It's not but because I, he enjoys the slots. I love the slots, <laughs> man. And plus, dude, they, they make a noise even when you lose. You're like, oh! Did I win something? No, I lost again. Yeah. You ever seen Beavis and Butthead do America? Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to Vegas to do the Travis shots. And, Travis and Boothead. <laughs> man, I've seen that movie probably 45 times with my friend Corey. Uh, who's the woman that plays that voice? Uh, all To all the commenters out there, uh, fact check us. Cor- <laughs> Cloris Leachman. Yeah. Is that who uh, is? Yeah, such a funny woman. You ever seen Young Frankenstein? Yeah. You know, the uh, Flau Blucher. Yeah. That's her. Yeah, that's the same woman. Yeah. Do you know know who made their uh, cameo in Beavis and Butthead to America? There's a lot. Yeah, but the main one that you think about. Bruce Willis? No, no. Cameo. The cartoon guy. Uh, It was uh, uh, Hank Hill. Oh, yeah. He was the same. That's the same voice. Yeah. The same. He's like, this is God's country. (laughs) It's like, but he was, but see, it's weird to think about that because Hank Hill, he wasn't really Hank Hill on that show, but he looks like him. Yeah, well, yeah. it's Mike Judge too. Yeah. yeah, but it's funny to think about if you watch like King of the Hill. Just imagine if Beavis and Butthead really does live down the neighborhood, because I, they were the neighbors. They were really close. They, like, they hung out in his tool shed. I would, I would, yeah, they <laughs> hung out in his tool shed. <laughs> Such a great show. Oh man! But I, I wish they don't would have done like some type of crossover. Did y'all watch the new uh, episodes of Beavis and Butthead like two years ago? I when tried. They yeah. First came out yeah. when they when they think that Barack Obama is on the wanted list man. and they're going after him because they think he's a werewolf. That's that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, I love the show. You know, well, they just. Man, the '90s were such a special time. It was just nostalgic too. Like I remember, like my dad would be like, "I had HBO or whatever it came on on late at night. We had that card, dude. We we stole cable, you know, you know. Thumbs up if you stole cable. But uh, you know, back then, <laughs> like my dad would go to sleep and I'd be like watching it, and he'd come on. He must knew the song or something, or he probably just heard. <laughs> 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 my dad's like, "You there watching that stupid show again?" I'm like, "Turn it off." No, I'm good. You remember when they hosted the Macy's Day Parade? 
No, I never seen they that. Done, they had the Macy's Day Parade. It was hilarious. Mm. What those special times? Shows like that can't exist anymore. They're bringing back so. Daria. I think they're making a movie or something with Daria. That would be cool. Yeah, but I think that was on MTV, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think Beavis and Butthead was too. I think that. Yeah, Beavis and Butthead are definitely MTV because they started out as a. Uh, uh, critics, yeah. uh, music video critics, before they were actual show. And it's they all just... Rob Zombie. <laughs> yes, that was the 90s with rock and roll. White Zombie, that's what it was called. Then. Hey, uh, what was that song? Uh, the first song. That he did or the White Zombie did? White Zombie. Was it Thunder uh, Kiss not, 65? Yeah. yeah, it was on Guitar Hero. Yeah, man, that's such a good Remember song. I was playing that song in Walmart one time. Back when you used to be able to play the games at Walmart, Somebody I was sitting there jamming, dude. I mean, I I miss that. Like that's that was my babysitter. Whenever my mom went to Walmart, yeah. she just put me right there where you play the games, and she just went off and left me alone. I could have been kidnapped or anything, but it worked. I'm still here. Yeah, man. I remember just sitting there just ripping that game, and like, I'm pretty sure that there was like a crowd. You know, <laughs> there was probably a crowd there. Like, God, look at this Donnie, guy killing this. <laughs> and then like, you know, I'm, I'm playing the heck out of that song. Don't make me do the Dragon Force song though. I can't do that one. Oh, uh, what is that? Through the fire and flames. Yeah, through the fire yeah. and flames. We will run. Yeah, remember Jason used to play yep, the heck out of yep. that game, dude. One of our buddies in college, he played it. Not even look at it. He won a few tournaments or something. He did, yeah. There yeah. were Guitar Hero tournaments. Our man, girls over yeah, dude. There was girls all the time. Man, uh, if you're a Guitar Hero, you got the girls, man. I remember when that game first came out. I remember the first time I seen that game. My cousin was playing. I was like, "You're playing a guitar? That's a video game? What?" Man, whoever thought of that was like. <laughs> smart oh yeah and yeah, now you got legal. virtual reality yeah H- have y'all done any of the virtual reality stuff i'm afraid of it dude oh i'm excited to watch some movies on the virtual reality you're excited to watch the movies on cool. there uh, do they have stuff like that yet i'm sure they do oh, yeah. i'm sure they, <laughs> they do, have yeah. to they have to i know what he's getting to i'm trying to, I'm trying to steer the conversation <laughs> differently right now i'm over here like yeah man yeah. <laughs> listen as your advisor uh yeet <laughs> doesn't yeet mean stop no, you yeet mean the phone. you're throwing it, yeet man. Phone. Yeet. <laughs> what does but, stop mean? Uh, uh, well, I guess what's a cool word for stop? So, some millennial out there, well, yeah. or Generation Z. That's another thing. See, I, the, the millennials like ain't even like the young kids anymore. Now it's Generation cool. Z. Yeah. See, I think I'm but, I'm Gen X. I think. No, we're, we're millennials. Yeah, millennials is like. I don't know. Goes back to like '84. Uh, I think so. I'm '87. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you this: don't make them like that anymore. You know. I don't well, know. I think thirty, like thirty two is the new like nineteen eighty one, dude. Whoa. All the way to 81. How about it? Well see, listen, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I think that calling people that kind of stuff is kinda of lame. I think it's like discriminatory. I, I really do. Well the, all they try to keep it's, it's us. trying to say like, hey, you uh you don't know as much as me. I'm like, hey, you are the ones who spend all of our money. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're the, you're the one that's... more on Donnie's OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're trying to turn around, man. Bring it back. You know. Well, yeah. I, I think that's just like something to keep us divided. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. want us to come together. Yeah, exactly. Just argue. You're you're not a human being. You're a millennial. Yeah. You're a Generation Z or well, X I, I or think, a boomer. The the whole thing is is just to keep us uh, from uh, coming together and coming up with ideas. Yeah. You know, that's the whole thing with the uh, legality of, uh, like, psychedelics and any kind of, you know, like, mind-opening experience, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, Colorado now, didn't they, like, decriminalize uh, psilocybin? I think it's, like, yeah. well, you I think it's like the lowest there, of the lowest. I don't think you can buy it. I think you can possess it without them really caring. Yeah. I don't the, think you can buy it. Them and uh, Oakland, I yeah. think, did it. I'm pretty they sure. They lost the Raiders and they got mushrooms, man. They're better off. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> All the Raider fans out there. Oh, man. My, my neighbor's a Raider fan. Mm. They got the best fans, though. The Raiders do. They got the pirate people. Yeah, yeah. They, they do have a lot of crazy I wish I, uh, wish I was more of a Raiders fan. It'd be fun to go to football games, even if you're a Bengals fan. And uh, hey, the Bros are Do you remember that, remember, that time we, remember that time we went to the Rockies game? Rockies versus the Reds. And uh, uh, <laughs> you tried to get on the field, and that woman, this woman secured, was, she was, was an old woman secured, he tried to flirt with her. She it was like, worked. she knew that we were going to try to run on the field, and uh, she's like, looked at us dead in the face. She's like, mm-mm. And we both had capes on. We, we looked normal people. We had a, it was Ameri- 4th of July. It was 4th of July. We were, we, were, we were decked out, man. I'll send you a picture later. You can post it on the website. Thank um, you. But uh, <laughs> we, were, uh, we were trying to get on the field, man, and she's like, not today. I was like, and then he tried to get by a few times, and I tried to like. I think she got physical. Mm. I think it's what he wanted, though. <laughs> that's what, I think that's what he wanted. 
I think. Oh, so. <laughs> Never mind. I, I, can't. <laughs> Never mind. I, I asked nicely a few times and, and smiled, and she smiled, and, you know, I made her made her work at it. Yeah, she didn't want anything to do with it. Dang. See, if you would have had the OnlyFans account, you could have just brought up. I could have offered a free three-month sub to me. Yeah. Exactly. Bowling, yeah. OnlyFans. Just pictures of my cat. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's it. it that, Somebody told me I should monetize all my... Uh, all my, my posts. Like, man, you post all kinds of funny stuff, and sometimes it's not funny, but, like, people look at it, and that, they pay for it if you took it away. I'm like, man, I don't want to charge people for me wearing a pair of shorts up to my boobs, and my hair looks crazy. Like, who wants to buy a comedy, man? Who cares, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, it's... Well, people want to be monetized so much. I'm like, man, just do it for the love of it, and hopefully, you know, you, you get somebody that's affected by it in a positive way. Like, you got to... You know, I think that, things I think that people get distracted by what art is supposed to be. Yeah. It's, it's supposed to be beautiful, and, and people are supposed to enjoy it, and you're supposed to affect other people sometimes in a positive and or negative way. It's, I agree. They're, yeah, but people, they, they for some reason, they think they're important when they're not, well, and, and they just, they, they want to be this big thing. It's, 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 it's more about it's them the than it is it's the art. The, it's the... It's the the what is it uh, psychology man is it positive reinforcement For the what? likes and all yeah, the yeah. like all the the thumbs up and everything it makes you th- feel good you know like you're, yeah. you're getting serotonin or dopamine dopamine yeah you're getting the you're getting the drip I, no that's that's a buzzword that's drip a, bro drip, yeah. drip. got that drip that's, that's, wet, man. that's, wet. that's, that's what we used to call that's swag. swag yeah, yeah. dude swag bag no but like there's, so there's two forms of, th- of thinking i think about money with with music is um, I spend thousands of dollars on recording, and it's because I love it, and I, mm-hmm. I want to create these songs, and I don't want to starve the music. So, like, if a song needs this, it needs it, you know? So, yeah. like, I put all this money into it, and labor, it's a labor of love, man, and all this time, and I pour my heart on the lyrics and, and try to get messages out that I feel. Then you got the other people who are making that stuff by algorithm and by... You know, the map, like, you know, this is how it should go. This is how the last hit song went. Let's do it like that. Mm-hmm. And they, they're they the ones who are out there forcing the money to come to them. And I'm over here spending thousands, and, and I'm putting it out on a platform, and I'm getting, like, a tenth of a cent per time you listen to it. Like mm-hmm. That's laid-back country picker. He do, he did it right, the, that first one. I don't think he ever put it out on any, any platforms. I think if you wanted his songs, you got to buy it from him at the show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you're bringing people to the church. You're mm-hmm. coming to. You're going to see and be affected by it. And if not, even if you you know you listen to it, I got like a tenth of a cent. It doesn't really matter anyway. And you probably didn't care, mm-hmm. you know, or you would have bought the CD and you would have supported the people. So it's like I'm not like championing for buying everything, but I'm also I'm over here saying like if you're going to listen to the bands, like still support them, like. Buy the shirt or, you know, yeah. buy the Donnie Bowling and the Balls t-shirt now. No. Yeah. But, like, you know, like, support the people because, like, mm-hmm. I'm never going to get what I put into it out of it ever, and I know that. But to me, music at one point in time saved me from something. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, if my message can, any any message, even the ukulele love song, I think I sent you one the other day. Yeah, the yeah Rings, if that If that one song that was really funny at the moment and we just had a good time recording it might brighten your day up. I mean, it's like that's the win. That's yeah. that's way more than the, you know, the six cents. Yeah, and what I meant, what, what by what I was saying, the artist sometimes gets confused about like why they're doing it. They yeah. they sometimes they get a big head and they want to do it for the fame and the fortune mm-hmm. or for the money. Well, and I learned to play guitar for girls, you, man. And he's just like <laughs> love to do what you do. That's what it's all about. Is if you actually enjoy it. Because once it starts getting all about the money or all about your ego, that's when the fun, it well, isn't fun anymore. And as the musician, too, I know a couple of people, you know, that I've talked about in private with. And, and once you, you know, like the Nickelback thing, once they became the image that they had to be, they had to therefore be the image. They took mm-hmm. off the sticker off the yeah. drums. Yeah, they took the drums off because yeah. now we're Nickelback. Or I was talking to him about that little peep guy, like the rapper. I think mm-hmm. he died a few years ago. Yeah. It's like... He was consumed by the image. The image of him was, I use prescription medications. Mm-hmm. You know, he has tattoos of Xanaxes and stuff. Like, what if he really wasn't that way? Yeah. What if Eminem really wasn't like Eminem? It was just a product. And then now he has to live that product. Exactly. You know, be careful what you turn into. That's why 
I told you, I'm I'm all about having a good time and making stickers with my cat on it or making Donnie Bowling in the Balls t-shirts and like <laughs> Cause, cause well, that's fun, me. Man. That's me though. Like yeah, and, and if you, you know me, I'm 100% going to be like here's the idea today. It's it's silly. You know me. I'll be like, "Let's do it. Let's do it before I think about it." Let's yeah. Just go ahead and send it out there. Some know? people get way too serious about stuff and they just need to let go and let it happen. If it's meant to be, it's going to be. But until then, just sit in the river yeah. and float down it. Have fun. This is the segue again. So my new stickers have Sasquatch on them. What is with you and Bigfoot <laughs> and Sasquatch? Dude, I believe in them. I think I saw them when I was a kid. I'm I'm being 100% Did you look honest. look in the mirror? Nah, man. I wasn't looking in the mirror. I'm, I'm baby Sass. <laughs> Pick a destiny. I get it, yeah. <laughs> no, dude, like when I was a kid, <laughs> cool. when I was a kid, my brother was building his house. It's up behind my father's, and this is up uh, by Left Fork of Caney. This is, you know, we're, we're over in, uh, like, around Virgie and Dorton. Yeah. And it's, you know, the mountains up near, um, uh, what is the mountain up there called? I'll think of it here in a minute. Flat, flat Woods. Yeah. A lot of that stuff, you know, it's, it's hairy up there. Um, <laughs> no Is that intended. a buzzword? No. It is not. But, uh, so one day I was walking home, like, through the mountains, and I thought, something startled me, man. When I was a kid, something startled me. My dad had horses growing up, so we had this barbed wire fence that went around our entire property. This startled me so much. I used to play in the mountains as a kid. This startled me so much. Whatever it was, whatever I saw, I ran as fast as I could toward my house. Enough that I forgot that fence was there. <laughs> I ran I ran straight into that fence, and the barbed wire caught me, like, oh. caught me in two places. This isn't the worst part. It caught me, and I came over it. Uh. I spun. But the worst part is you got wrapped in I it? had to underspin again. I uh, underspin. I, I spun backwards. So I'm, I'm hanging by it. It's in my flesh. I'm spinning, and I've spun backwards again until I went flat back again. They had to get me out of it. Yeah. So whatever it was in the mountains that day freaked me out enough that I think that's what it was. Because I, I knew the mountains. I was there every day playing all the time. I, we didn't have the internet. I was always out in the woods, like, probably chewing some dip or you know, trying to smoke half a cigarette. But, like, I mean, this this whatever it was freaked me out enough that I think that's where I started to... To really think there was something else out there. You don't think something funny was in that cigarette that day? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it wasn't a, a funny cigarette. I was, like, cigarette. I was like 14, man. I, I was off school for like a week or something, dude. That's, uh-huh. Yeah, I was messed up. I, but the thing is, there was a uh, certain type of human species that they found, like, well, they found out it existed mm-hmm. hundreds of years ago that was native to, like, the Canada region. Yeah, and like stuff. Up, in the, up in the Northwest. I forget exactly what they Cascades. call it. Cascades. S- something I-, I forget what they what they call this type of human but i mean he was huge they were hairy and they yeah. think that that like whenever the indians talk about these sightings of bigfoot or whatever they think that they're talking about that certain type of human like the native americans yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. But, well, the, but well that's the thing though like we came over and we probably exterminated them that's what a species does when it inhabits a thing like mm. the fish we're bringing over from china are killing our fish it's like there was other versions of us and we probably just got rid of them yeah who knows you know, we did the same thing to the native americans we tried to exactly. whether it be nefarious for their land or you know just the fact that a species comes in and mm-hmm. invades and takes all the resources and yeah you know and moves about i think yeah. uh, that's very plausible what do you think? i think it's more of a cultural thing i wouldn't say we're a different species but, uh, no, I'm, I'm talking about like neanderthal versus homeo like uh Homo sapiens. What is it? Homo sapiens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're all homies. I think so. Yeah. yeah. We're all well, but there, are, but yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. there is genetic differences in those people. Right. Not yeah, enough I now. I mean, not in the last yeah. two thousand years. We have We've been. We've all. We're all the same. Mm-hmm. You know. It's just yeah. pigment. Well, even uh, in I think it's India, they have these monks on top of this uh, huge mountain. Mm-hmm. They have what's supposed to be the top of the skull and the hand. Of a yeti, yeah. But they won't let I saw anybody. That. I watched it. The, I watched Gates go try to figure it out. Yeah, the, yeah. They 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 won't let anybody uh, mess with it though because yeah. they Who's say it? that it's sacred. The, well, they found a scalp and a hand. They believe this was this this been out for years. Yeah, they I, said they found it. I, think, them in a I cave. think Gates went and looked at and had one of them uh, analyzed, and it was some type of uh, of a unknown. They believe it was an unknown bear. Hmm. But I'm like, oh, bear, Bigfoot. I mean, they're kind of in the same area. You know what I'm talking about? The yeah. dude who did a, a um, that that uh, ghost uh, TV show forever. 
Oh, uh, what was his name? Something Gates. I know who you're talking yeah, about. If you, if you know anything the, about Mr. Gates, let us know his real name. Yeah, tag, in the comments. Tag us, yeah. But, uh, yeah, who knows, man? I think that Here, look it up. we've been around as far as, well, what, how far can we go back in history that we know of? How many thousands of years? Well, you're talking about, uh, well, you're talking about, um, I mean, well, yeah, we've nah. got, well, first of all, we've got, One time I thought, like, the we, oldest we've got land documents. of like 10,000 you know, we know, yeah. we know that there was some type of a, Josh Gates was his Josh name. Gates. Yeah, I mean, the Earth is millions of years old. Yeah, but I'd say like probably six million. Billions. But, but who, but billions. Who, yeah. But who's Maybe to say trillions. like there? I mean, we already have so many different type of hum, different yeah. humans nowadays. Yeah. Who's to say like a few didn't get through the cracks of time and make it to the last few Ooh, hundreds of God. years where? They had sightings, but didn't really know. Yeah. I mean, there's still stuff going extinct nowadays that mm-hmm. aren't going to be around in a few hundred years. Yeah, it's who knows, man. What do you think about uh, Egypt? Uh, about the, the pyramids? pyramids. Uh, yeah. It's I, I believe the the common theory that it was some type of uh, of an energy source. Yeah, look into that. What do you mean energy source? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Google it. Now look into Are it. Are you talking about the potatoes? No, I'm talking about like the way that uh, I think there's some type of shafts. The way they've looked at the shafts, they think that there's a way that they they created energy. Yeah, look into it. It's weird. Huh? It's got something to do with like I think the sun and some other stuff. I watched it once. Well, this is what I think happens with ancient civilizations like that. Some type we get so far as a human species and create all this type of yeah. really cool stuff. Then something catastrophic happens. Yeah, and the only thing that's left is stone. Exactly. Every time yeah, that was on Joe Rogan's first comedy skit, two thousand two, I think. I, well, I, well, I've watched like his recent ones, but I haven't seen that yeah. one. I just uh, it made sense to me because yet yeah, all this that can melt. That's yeah, going to well, go away. But at, stuff after like hundreds Rushmore, of thousands of years, Rushmore is still going to be there. Yeah, because exactly, it was stone. Our cell phones are gone. Yeah, plastic stuff are gone. Your jump drive is gone. Because well, even, like they even found this what looks to be like a uh, like a clock wheel mm-hmm. in this stone. This yeah. and people can look this up. This is real, and they they found it. They still don't even really know what this is. Is that the one that they found in the ocean? Yeah, yeah. They think it was something to do with navigation. Maybe they're not really sure. Yeah. I looked into it once. It's pretty interesting. But yeah, I mean, but well, and the next thing that's going to happen is probably Yellowstone. Well, look at a uh, look at. NASA and the um, the thing we sent out there. Uh, what's his name? What was the really? Uh, the, Neil Armstrong. No, the. the You're talking about the, uh, the, like the satellite. That... I'm talking about the thing they made out of gold and sent it out into space, and it has instructions on how to find Earth. Yeah. It has sounds from Earth. It has instructions on how to decipher it. It's yeah, made yeah. out of gold. I know what you're talking about. Because yeah, the, gold the, the is never going is to math. deteriorate. Yeah, and the, and the language is like it is like English or anything. It's, ma- any, it's math. If any smart person ever found it. It might take them some time, but they will decipher it. Yeah. So it's like it's made out of gold, just like stone. Those things will be there forever. But you know, our plastic, our you know, my bang can bang energy is going to be gone. It might take a while, but yeah. Know. But but the thing is, though, see, I brought that up to Steve last week, and he said that uh, they have like some type of destination for it, like a planet they think inhabits life, but it's yeah. supposed to take like think. 20 like five or twenty five thousand years yeah, to man. reach it you know so by the time they actually get this thing who knows we might already have destroyed ourselves so who we knows might what's pick it up on happen. the way here yeah who knows hey just pick this guy up on the side of the road nah man we were talking about uh ufos earlier about uh drones i was like man if if they are uh advanced enough they're probably not they're probably past the point of piloting anything driving yourself is silly look at us now with our cars you know, yeah. Tesla's like, ah, we don't need to drive. Driving's for peasants. Yeah. You know, I bet aliens are like, hey, dude, let's just send a drone over. Put a camera There's on no it. aliens in it. We were driving through the Red River Gorge, though. Yeah. I said, uh, you know, couldn't really blame the aliens if they wanted to vacate here. Yeah, don't come here in 2020, yeah. though, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I just, I don't even know if, like, we're worth their time. I bet they look at us as just. I think just, they've always been looking at us, man. Well, it, it's kind of like, we would do the same thing if, with a planet. Like, if there was this planet full of monkey-like people that had nuclear weapons. We're like, oh, let's keep tabs on them. Let's see what they're up to, you know? Yeah, we're, it's like the experiment theory where they're like, they're watching us. And a lot of sightings have happened around uh, inventions of destruction, you know? Like the videos they show of that one thing that like, they're, I guess, releasing a rocket and this thing like 
you know, blew around the top of it and like shot a little laser at it and like it destabilized it. Mm-hmm. And, like all these sightings of like we were at the base and all of a sudden something we saw lights and all of a sudden all of our stuff shut down. Yeah, it's always constant show of power. It's always like, hey, not a good idea, guys. Not a good idea. And that leads me to why the aliens are getting disclosed now is because something bad's happening to our culture right now. We're mm-hmm. divided. We're about to do something crazy. Maybe they are coming here to be like, hey, guys, calm down. Yeah, exactly. I, and, you know, because we're going to shut you down for a few days and uh, you're going to realize you need to sit back and play nice. See, I like the experiment theory because, like, even yeah. religious people can kind of be on board with that. Even if you read the Bible, you know, it all started off with Adam and Eve. Suppose like they were put here by God. It's kind of like almost an experiment. Well, and, and it's if, like almost like God is an alien. Exactly. Or what is God? Is it just a different name for the same thing? Yeah. And, and, and what we're saying here to anybody out there, don't get offended. Yeah. These are just ideas. I respect everybody's point of view and beliefs, all that good stuff. These are just, I'm stupid and yeah. I'm just sharing ideas. Well, but, no one's really you know, pushing any any like not real it's real you know like exactly uh, all i'm saying is if you like because i grew up in church and i started looking at some of this stuff they say that uh jesus came down on a chariot yeah. made of fire chariot made of fire that sounds like a spaceship right well you know, and, and and the thing is though like we're we're so different from everything else on this planet mm-hmm. there's so many there's millions of types of fish but they all do the same thing <laughs> they all have fins they yeah. all have you know gills they're basically the same thing and none of them none of, none of them have created anything exactly we're the only ones that well have... beaver, beavers make dams well yeah but i mean we're, we're, <laughs> we build skyscrapers we go to different types of planets we yeah. have so many different types of languages other species they only have one language well from what we can figure out i guess anything's but, possible That's yeah true. everything is so different why are we so special? We're the most intelligent thing on this planet. And it just, it makes, I don't, we're so different that it makes me wonder about that experiment theory. Yeah, well, true, in the simulation and the... Um, Do you know how many how many years 4.5 billion years is? Yeah. It's a lot of time. Yeah, it's a whole lot of time. But it's... And, it's... But, but the thing is, though, like over that much time, you know, yeah, we have went to other planets and all that, but a lot of these animals have really almost stayed the same and have done the same thing. But we're the only ones that have created a society. Well, and, well I mean, animals have societies, too. But not to the point that we do. Well, we don't know it. One I mean, might argue ant, that, ant, like... Ant families and... Well, yeah. true, true, yeah, that's a good argument. We're at the, the pinnacle of earthly evolution, you know. Yeah, but it, there's just nothing else like us. I think, I think the, the thing would be be to respect everybody and everybody's belief and then maybe we'll figure this whole thing out together and yeah. then maybe you're not wrong and i'm not wrong and we're all right who you know knows because like i don't think everybody has to be right or wrong you know yeah and so and, like, and i'm work op- together and i'm open to anybody's ideas about anything you know yeah. i'm not stuck on just one thing i'm open to anything i might tell you you're stupid for you know for something but maybe i'm stupid for, maybe i'm stupid for saying that you're stupid you know it's like who knows? We all just need to get together, love one another, share ideas. And if somebody believes differently, who cares? If it's yeah. hey, just get on with your life and just say, ah, whatever, you think that way, I think another way, we're fine. But that's that's one thing that we need to learn to do in 2020. Yeah, that and uh and make conspiracies great again. You know, yes. we need we need to talk more about Loch Ness Monster. Sasquatch, Ow. where Biggie and Tupac is, and is Elvis still alive? Those were the best conspiracies ever. Now we're talking about the craziest stuff ever. You and, know? But the, and it got me. One day I told my Ben and Terry, I was like, I was down a Reddit hole, and I looked into adrenochrome. And I looked into adrenochrome, what's before, adrenochrome? before it got shut down on the Internet. It's still oh, coming back. It's the thing that the, Hunter S. The, Thompson the, talked about in Fear and Loathing. It comes from fear. So if the the you know the big societies they're uh, killing little kids and eating them sacrificing them well the reason they're sacrificing them is whenever i kill you the moment you're the most scared your body releases adrenochrome adrenaline it releases that into your bloodstream if i drink your blood i'm getting adrenaline man you know what that feels like and you know how good adrenaline is yeah you know that moment right whenever you're coming down 
from the Megatron, you're about to wrestle somebody, you know, mm. you're you're pumped, man. Fight or flight. It might be the steroids, though. Who knows what they're taking in wrestling right now? I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, have you seen Ken Shamrock lately? He looks like he's insane. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, that whole theory about that, awesome. Like, but they're using it for all this, like, pedophile gate and all this stuff. Like, mm-hmm. they're ins- But it's all political bonded. Bigfoot has nothing to do with politics. He doesn't even vote, man. No. Sat, you know, he doesn't vote. But what's even crazy, though, the whole Epstein thing, that was a conspiracy theory five years ago. It's if, real. If we came up, if we got here on air and said that, hey, there's this island that all these big, you know elite, political that? people are going to to do all these bad things, and everybody like, you're crazy. What are you talking about? Shut up. You're, you're canceled. But no, now here in 2020... Yes, that's hey exactly what was going on. Alex Jones was talking about that years ago. Yes. And they canceled him because he's crazy. Yes. It was the whole Sandy Hook thing. He really messed up there. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. And even he says that he messed up. But Alex Jones, yeah, he says a lot of crazy stuff, but there's a lot of stuff there's that some he l- says l- little, is little sprinkles practical. of he's truth. An entertainer. Exactly. No, no, and, that, and that's what he said in the depositions. He was like, that's a character I'm playing. Even Ben Shapiro is a character. Yeah. You know, some of that stuff is just intentional. Yeah. It, and again, it the, makes uh, you think again. Is all these other political actors really actors? Exactly. Like actors. They're called actors, man. What, what's the uh, the place that he went to in Northern California uh, where the, the big meeting that all these Oh, Bohemian leaders, Grove. Yeah, Bohemian that stuff's Grove. real, man. Yeah, that the, was a conspiracy theory. A meeting theory. of leaders of the world like Russians, Americans, our presidents, m- famous actors were there. And yeah. they're supposed to just hang out for a week. They're talking about their plans. Let's get real. Yeah, well, I'm going to put a billion literally... dollars into this, and I'm well. We'll. It's like playing the game of Risk. They're going to. I together. won't attack you for a few rolls. Let me build my army up, and then we'll take uh, him out. They're all going to get together and decide how they're all going to stay rich together and yeah. have a little vacation, have a little fun. You know? Yeah, yeah. And that, these are the people that literally control the world. But if you were to come out just a few years ago and say, "Hey, there's this one place in Northern California, out in the middle of the woods, where nobody's allowed," that all these and big they worship world an leaders, owl. That's, I actually haven't heard anything about this. <laughs> Look at the Bohemian Grove, man. I'm gonna Alex Jones, uh, he got, they went there. Yeah, he, he got he got in there with a camera and recorded a lot of it. And yeah. dude, it is some of the craziest stuff that I've ever seen in my life. Like yeah. they have like fake human sacrifices. They sacrifice and a bundle of sticks or something in front of Malik. Yeah, the, yeah, because yeah, Malik's the, the <laughs> owl god. Yeah, I saw a movie about that. I watched. Yeah. I mean, I told you this in college. I think, man, we were D- talking and, about this, and this is all real. That's yeah. the thing. Like, it's totally real, and it still goes on to this day. And people don't believe in magic. Yeah, it, you know, have dude, you seen David Blaine float around <laughs> on a balloon? <laughs> First of all, did you watch that? that? Yeah, dude, I that was crazy. It. Well, it what's was... crazy about it was the fact that he was able to keep his oxygen saturation that high above. Like 20,000. We've done all his breathing techniques. Exactly. Like, David's a wild dude. You remember, like, he said in the thing, his favorite type of ma- magic wasn't really the tricks. It was the defying the human body. Like, can people be superhuman and have superhuman, you know, abilities? Like the breathing thing or the people who can die for 10, 10 minutes without ever breathing. I can't even hold my breath for a minute. Yeah. People can do that. Deal. There, hey, there's some people out there that are superhumans. You, you know, need to get them together and go find Loch Ness, man. <laughs> Loch Ness, dude. And I, no, I'm not exactly with you on that one. If that thing was still around, yes. you know, it might be in the ocean. Not, not in the not. ocean. You can't get out of the at a lock. You're stuck. You're locked in. Yeah, but they would have found it. Nah. I'm not. I don't know. People have been searching for things forever and never found it. Do you believe in something doesn't exist because you can't see it or haven't found it yet? It's true. Dude, this world is so crazy that, <laughs> hey, listen, anything is possible at this point. I don't – if 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 aliens were to come down, I'm not going to be surprised at this point. You ever seen a UFO? Oh, yeah. You really – like wholeheartedly yes. you think you saw one. Yes. Well, I'm – Did you get probed? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, 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 it's never mind. I can't say that joke. But uh, there's this thing that flew behind these trees, mm-hmm. and you know it's just like a little row of trees. This I was a little kid, and who knows? I might. I think that this is true, but it went behind these trees. It was just like three or four trees. It should have popped out on the other side, and it didn't. It's kind of hung out there for a while. And, and, and I like, no, I, I went around and there was nothing in the sky. But like I was hanging out with two of my buddies and one of them was a preacher's kid. It went underground. Who knows? Who knows? You know, but the, here's the thing. And I say this to everybody out there that says that they don't believe in aliens. 
our sun is a star with how many planets eight or nine depending on how you look at Probably pluto yeah. yeah well and moons Poor and all pluto, that man he got left out he got uh yeeted yeah there we go <laughs> <laughs> but it, but you but you look up in the sky and you see millions of stars Billions. that means each one is its own solar system it with, has the with, capability, yeah. with planets revolving around it. And that means you, you see billions of stars. That means there's even more billions of planets. There's more you can't see, too. And we're the only ones? Yeah. You know, that don't make any sense. Well, and being open-minded is the, is the, is the main goal. You know? Yeah. Well, so you, you, you agree to that or not. Well, guys, we've been talking for hey, quite a while. This has been fun, though. Let's just jump <laughs> off here and we'll keep talking. Yeah, yeah, I got a good. Bigfoot sticker for you. I'll bring it to you. A what? Got in the car. My sticker of Bigfoot, Oh, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hook yeah. you up. Yeah, we got a... I'm putting stickers out there. I'll show you. Yeah, we need the sticker. I want you to keep it on, like, put it on you. I'll get Badge tattooed. of honor. I'll get tattooed. Like, they used to do it at Walmart with the little happy thing, or was that Kmart? They put the little smiley That's face Walmart, on you? yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to Walmart today and just start sticking Bigfoot stickers on people. They need, to bring, back, Walmart. They need to bring back that sticker for... Uh, Black Friday, and then people might be a little bit more happy. I don't think Black Friday is going to be a thing anymore, man. I think they're right, doing away with it. I hope pandemic. not. Mm-hmm. It's be a pandemic, bro. I hope not. That's people beating each other to death over paper towels. Nintendo the day after, is. yeah, the day after they're supposed to be thankful for one another. But well, folks, dude, thanks for having us, man. Hey, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, Mister Donnie Bowling, and of course Bernie, the advisor. It's been fun. Boys. Always go by just Bernie. That's it. <laughs> what is your last name? Boss. Bernie Voss. Such a cool name, dude. What? <laughs> this Bern- is a real guy. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Donnie Thanks, Bowling man. and Bernie Voss. We'll see you next week. Boom. That fun, was fun. Bro. Yeah, man. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, dude.